Shemuel, Rishon, 1 Samuel, 5. And the Peleshitim took Eth, the Ark of Elohim, and brought it from Iben Hezer unto Ashdod. When the Peleshitim took Eth, the Ark of Elohim, they brought it into the house of Dagon, and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of Yahuwah. And they took Eth Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of Yahuwah. And the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of Yahuwah was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with tumors, even at Ashdod and at the coasts thereof. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us, and upon Dagon, our Elohim. They sent therefore and gathered eth all the lords of the Peleshitim unto them, and said, What shall we do with the ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el? And they answered, Let the ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el be carried about unto Gath, and they carried at the ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, the hand of Yahuwah was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote at the men of the city, both small and great, and they had tumors in their secret parts. Therefore they sent at the ark of Elohim to Echran. And it came to pass, as the ark of Elohim came to Echran, that the Echranim cried out, saying, They have brought about at the ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el to us, to slay us and at our people. So they sent and gathered together at all the lords of the Peleshitim, and said, Send away at the ark of the Elohim of Yashara'el, and let it go again to his own place, that it slay us not, and at our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of Elohim was very heavy there, and the men that died not were smitten with the tumors, and the cry of the city went up to heaven.